Hello everyone, my name is Emmanuel, owner and founder of iCreateYourSite.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to optimize the images for your website. This way the images will be clear and load quickly. The great thing is that you're not going to need any kind of professional software to do this. We're going to be able to do all of it right from your internet browser. This is exactly how we're going to do it. So I have a folder here from one of my clients and if I open it, we can see that we have about 30 pictures in here that they've sent me. Now, they sent me these pictures straight out of their camera, so they're not optimized at all. And if we close the folder and check the size, we can see here that it's about 80 megabytes, way too big. So we're gonna go ahead and optimize these images before putting it on the website, because if we go ahead and put it on the website full size, um, first of all, the website probably cannot display all of the information anyways, and it's also gonna make the page run really slowly. So to optimize them, we're gonna to go to a website that uh, will actually optimize them for us. So we're gonna go here, uh, and we're gonna to go to imagecompressor.com, and we're gonna hit enter. All right, so we can upload our files right here, and this website will actually optimize it for us. We don't need to have Photoshop or anything like that. So I think the limit here is 20 images at a time, and we have 30, so I'm gonna do half and half. Let's do that first set right there. And we can see that it is uploading the images. So I'm gonna let that upload and come right back. So our images finished uploading, they're all here. And it shows us how much each one was reduced. So here we have 70%, 62%, 64%. Um, that's how much smaller the file is compared to the original, which is really good. So we can click uh, here, download all, to save all the new images. But before we do that, um, let's look at the new sizes. So the original size for this one was 5.1 megabytes, which is pretty big. And the new size should be a little bit under 1.6 megabytes. Now, 1.6 is still a little bit larger than what we want. So we can go here uh, on the quality slider and slide this down all the way down to 20. And we'll see a preview of what that's gonna look like. There we go. And we can see that it's a little bit blurrier, but it's not that much where it's like a problem, like people can still see the picture. And obviously on our website, the picture's gonna be shrunk down, you know, to, to a small box or a background. It's not gonna be a full-sized, you know, image taking up the entire screen. So if you think about it, once the image has been shrunk down and it's placed properly on your website, it doesn't need to be super high definition. It just needs to be clear enough to see and be a small size. So here we have a under 549. Um, let's go a little bit smaller just to see what happens if we put 10. Maybe that might be two. Let's see here, quality 10. So yeah, this is a little bit too blurry. You see all these blocks here. This is uh, too far. So I think 25 was good. Let's leave it back at 25. Uh, actually 20, I think it was 20 what we had. So there you go and we click apply. And that will recompress this image. And we can go to the next one and we see the same thing. Let's make this one 20 as well and click apply. There you go. So you wanna go ahead and check all the images and you wanna make them as small as possible um, while still keeping it clear so that the website uh, still looks good but is able to load quickly. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust all of these images now um, you know, to make sure that they're the best size possible, and I'll come right back. All right, so I just finished adjusting the quality for all the images. Now we can hit here, download all. And we're gonna get a zip file with all the images on there. And once it's done downloading, we can hit clear. And now we can come back here and upload the rest of the images. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload these 
it's going to automatically compress them and then I'm going to go ahead and adjust them again and I'll come right back after that. So I already finished with the second set of images and I just want to show you that for some of them the file size was already pretty small so I didn't really have to change the quality as much. So keep that in mind. Um, you don't have to reduce the quality for each image. Just make sure that you find the sweet spot between the image still being clear but the file size not being huge. So that being said, let's go ahead and download all and that will save um, the second set of images to our computer. And you can open your downloads folder or wherever your downloads usually go to. Uh, I can find them right here in my finder. And we can see that uh, both files are here. So let's drag and drop these right onto the desktop. And let's close out of all these windows. Uh, I'm going to make a new folder called small pest. This is where I'm going to put all the the new images. So let's double click to open the folder. This one too. And here we can see our new images and we can look at them real quick. And we can see that in reality they look fine. You know, especially on a website where they're going to be, you know, a displayed much smaller. The quality is perfectly fine. Um, so let's go ahead and close out of this. Let's move the images to the new folder. All right. And the same thing with the second set of images. Perfect. So let's, uh, let's delete this. We don't need this anymore. So if we remember the first set of images, 80 megabytes for 30 images. So let's see how much better we are now. Here we go, eight megabytes for 31 images. So a 90% reduction in the file size of the images. So these images are gonna still look great on your website and load much quicker. One final tip that I'm gonna give you um, to optimize your images even further, if you, you wanna rename the file of your images based on what your business does. So for example, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and rename this file right here. Oops. Let's rename it. And uh, they provide, this company pro provides pest control services in Miami. And this picture is of a termite tank. So for example, I can write termite. Oops, I'm not writing. Let's click rename again. All right, let's click rename and we can rename this termite tent Miami. And how that is going to help is that now uh, Google is going to be able to read this and it's going to help Google understand uh, what the picture is. And it's going to help us just a little bit uh, rank on our website on Google search. Obviously, after you upload it, you can also add alt text to describe the image a little bit further and uh, that will also improve your ranking. So that was a little bonus tip. That is how you can optimize your images without needing any kind of special software. Um, these images are ready to be uploaded to your website. I hope this video helped you. Again, my name is Emmanuel. If you have any question about web design or development, feel free to leave it in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to answer any of your questions. Have a great day.